Now this video shows a small example how to change the background of a desktop on Windows 10 with a Windows uh, Universal Windows Platform app. So in uh, Universal Windows Platform app there's a small code on Microsoft uh, or examples, let's say, like examples, a basic uh, base code. And I've already done it in a small application and uh, first I'll show you how this works and how easy it is to uh, run that stuff. So this is my, <coughs> my <coughs> excuse me, that's my uh, local application, my application. And this application does nothing else than it changes the background of my, uh, of my Windows 10 platform. That's what happens here and this is only small code. I'll show you now that code. So the code is here. Uh, I have a small, uh, in the assets there's a small uh, uh, folder which is called backgrounds and I have placed there uh, four or five pictures. And on the front side I have here on my uh, main page XAML uh, all what I did there, I placed there five buttons and those five buttons have the event uh, button on click. So when you're there uh, and I have written into the, as a caption there, that's the in UWP, UWP is content. The content is one, two, three, four, five. And it, this relates to the uh, to the images, de desktop underscore background underscore zero, and then the number. And uh, check it. And now we have the click event. Click event is button on uh, button click. So when we go to this uh, event, I've said I said there, uh, give me from this event, give me the sender. The sender is the button, and from this button, I need the content. So this is the uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this is the number of the five fi uh, file uh, of, of that button. And now I uh, inserted this um, wallpaper example. Uh, for this example, we had to I had to add the using system user profile. So this is necessary for the for setting uh, on the background. Uh, then we have the tasks, which, which is necessary for uh, async file uh, loading, and then the storage, which is the file itself. Uh, so I said, okay, uh, I called that stuff, await, set wallpaper async, and then desktop background, hmm, set the number, and then the number of the file, and then JPEG. This is then go to assets, background, and load that file. Now we come to the uh, to the method itself. This is an async task. So that's uh, uh, async. As if you know how to write an async task, it's quite easy. You type async task, and then here's the result or bool in this case. Then we say, okay, this is the name, and here's the file name. And now. Uh, we said, okay, if user profile per personalizing settings is supported, so if uh, if we, if it's allowed to do that stuff, then we do um, we co I get the storage file. So the storage file is uh, I uh, I create a new URI. Say uh, this is from the base URI. So this means this is the base. The base application, then the assets folder, backgrounds folder, assets folder, backgrounds folder, and then the file. So I load the file, uh, get file from application URI async. So load it as async. And then I said, okay, uh, give me profile settings, give me the, uh, the current profile setting, and then that's the quite easiest stuff. This is implemented in UWP. Try set wallpaper async uh, image async. That's all what you have to do. So I call it again. Now we run it in. We do this uh, changing. So this is the second, third, fourth, fifth. Yeah, and that's the easy 
stuff of uh, this small little command which is in, written in here profile settings, try set wallpaper image async.